And welcome back to RedHeart.com as well as The Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey, and in today's tutorial, we're going to explore the Ghost Coaster. I so want to call this the Ghoster Coaster. And this is really super cute. Now, it's a free pattern available on RedHeart.com. The instructions are free. You can get that in the more information link of this video. Now, when I originally pulled it up, I'm like, look at all of those instructions. Am I going to be able to do this? Mikey, breathe. Go line by line. And honestly, it is so simple when you just work line by line line by line and just make a check mark as you go and then in this tutorial at the end we're also going to be doing the French knot embroidery now I've never done one of those before until this tutorial so that was kind of fun for me and you know what you're learning something new every day so without further ado let's grab our white yarn you're going to be using a size 5 millimeter or size H crochet hook today and let's begin and just before we begin, I'm just going to let you know that when we start the pattern, we're going to be starting on the top of the head. So in actual fact, we're going to be starting with this upside down, working our way across the rows. Do you notice that the arms are at a different height than each other? It works out that way. So we're going to be covering that as we go, and then we just come and do it and finish it off. Once you understand the actual pattern, you'll see how easy it is to make one of these ghosts. So let's uh, grab up our white yarn at this point, and let's create a slip knot. Wrap it around your finger, leave an extra long tail so you can deal with that later. And just create a slip knot and insert your hook. So I'm going to get nice and close to the camera today. And this member never starts off as one. So this is not counting as one. And all we just need to do is chain two. So just wrap and pull through for one and two. We simply now are going to go to the second chain and single crochet. So it's not the first one, it's the second and we're just going to single crochet. And this counts as row number one. So you actually officially have only one stitch on your project at this time. Okay, let's turn your work. Okay, I'm gonna turn it so the string is toward the back. Now, we're going to begin row number two. Chain one, and it says to do two single crochets into the stitch. So there's only one stitch here. So you're just gonna simply just go and do two single crochets and that was row two. Let's turn again and go for row three. We're going to chain one first, and then in the first chain, or the first stitch, which is directly underneath, we're going to put one single crochet, and then in the next one, we're going to put two single crochets. One and two. So now there's three stitches on this row. Let's turn our work. We're going to chain one, and it says to two single crochets into the first, so we come straight down and did put two single crochets in. And then it says to um, do a single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's only two stitches left, so that means that the there's only one stitch uh, single crochet into each. And that was row number four. Let's turn our work and go for row number five. Chain one, it says single crochet into each of the first three stitches. So the, we're gonna go single crochet first one, single crochet next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and then the last stitch will be two single crochets. We can get it in there. <laughs> okay, and so you're gonna put two in this one. So now you have five stitches going across. Let's turn our work. I'm going for row six, chain one, two single crochets into the first stitch. So just right underneath, so one and two. And it says to single crochet in each of the last four stitches. There's only four stitches here, so that means that there's one single crochet into each. So one, two, three, and four. And that was row number six. Row seven to nine, so three rows, we're going to turn our work and we're just going to immediately just single crochet ourselves all the way across. So we chain one and just single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, okay, and six. So it says that there's six stitches, so that means that we should have six stitches going across. We turn, that was row number seven. Let's turn our work, chain one. And then again, so so just single crochet into each. So that was one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, that was row number eight. Let's turn our work. 
chain one, single crochet into each. So one, two, three, four, well, four, five, and six. I'm coming right up. So that was rows number seven to nine. So you see how it's kind of flat at this point. Let's go for row 10. We're going to start coming in in the neck area. So that means that we have to decrease our stitches. So we're going to chain one and it says uh, single crochet two together. It says SC2TOG. A single crochet two together over the next first two stitches. So we come into the first, grab the yarn and pull through. We go into the next, grab the yarn and pull through and then pull through all three. Okay, so then it says to single crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we're going to single crochet into the each of the next two. So that was one and two. And then the next two, which are the final two, are single crochet two together. So in, so that was the first one, in for the second, and then pull through. And that was row number 10. So we decreased on both sides to form the neck. Okay, row number 11, we're going to start doing the arm. Okay, we're going to do the arm on the one side first and then when we come back we're going to do the arm on the other side. So to begin what we're going to do is that we're going to chain one and it says single crochet in each stitch across. So there's only four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And now it says to chain ten and then turn. So what we want to do is just start to chain ten. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that concludes off row number eleven. Okay, row number twelve, I'm going to just take my time. It says double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So let's just begin before I keep reading. So we count back one, two, three, and four. And that's where we're going to double crochet. So just hold this down with your finger and then it prevents it from spinning around and we're just going to double crochet. Okay, so let's go back to our instruction and it says to double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So we look at the here in the chain. So we're just going to double crochet into the next two. So that was one and two. And then what does it say now? We keep going back. Half double crochet, HDC is half double crochet in each of the next three stitches which is the chain, right? So we're going to half double crochet. So one and remember it's wrap, pull through and then pull through all three loops. Okay and we still have one more stitch left and it says two. What do we have here? Going back down to row 12. It says single crochet in the last chain. Okay so there's one more left. So we're just going to single crochet. Okay and we want to make sure that we're not spinning this around properly at this point. And so what we want to do is just make sure we look at it. Okay, that makes sense to me. And then what we have to go is that we have to ch uh, single crochet into the remaining four stitches, which is one, two, three, and four. So we just come right in. So one, two, three, and four. But we're not quite yet done. What we have to do now is do the chain 10. So we're going to do the arm on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So this is what it looks like at this point. You got an arm started and another arm just beginning. Okay, row number 13, we're going to take our time again. It says double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So let's begin. So we're going to count back. So one, two, three, and four, right where I'm pinching and we're going to double crochet. Now the arms are both identical just so that if you're looking for consistency. So it says double crochet in the next two chains. So the next two stitches are double crochet each. Okay. It says half double crochet into the next three chains. So that again this is the same thing that we've done on the other side. We're just repeating on the side. That's why the arms look um, off from each other if you look at it, if you look across the body of the ghost, which is fine. The ghost is not meant to be symmetrical. And then what we have here is that it says single crochet into the last chain. So we're going to single crochet. So here's where it gets fun. So let's uh, get our work back and turn it properly. 
at this point. Okay, it says a single crochet into the next seven stitches. So coming back down to the top of the neck area. So we're going to do the next seven. So one and two. This is single crochet, don't forget. So that was two, three, and four is the body. But we have to keep going. Five and six and seven. Just like that. So now it says half double crochet into the next stitch. So the next stitch we're going to half double crochet. And then it says, uh, what does it say? Double crochet into the next stitch. And we're forming the hand coming around the bottom of the body. So we're next one we're doing double crochet two together over the next two stitches. So we're, these next two are double crochet together. So we wrap first going in, pull through, pull through two and hold. I'll review again. So we're going to grab it and go into the very next stitch, pull through, pull through two and hold. And then we grab the yarn and pull through. We're done. It says do uh, leave the turning chain unworked. This is the turning chain. So you're leaving that and basically you are done row number 13. So this is what it looks like at this point. Let's turn our work and we're going to uh, row number 14. It says to chain one and then it says su a single crochet two together over the next two stitches. So the first one and the next one are two together. They're single crochets just like that. So we're bringing it under. Single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. So we're just going to work our way across the, the, the body. So let's keep going. So 11 is single crochet. So one, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. But we're not done with this. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Let me try that again. Half double crochet into the next stitch. <laughs> and then what we have here is double crochet into the next stitch. And then the last two stitches are going to be together. So it says double crochet the two together. So that's what we're going to do. And it says to leave the, um, the chain, uh, turning chain unworked. So basically you are now done at this point and you've left that out. And that's fine because this is what it's looking like at this point when you turn it upside right. So you can see the hands are taking shape and so is the head. So without further ado, let's keep going. Now the pattern gets easier from row number 15. Let's turn our work again and chain one. And it says single crochet um, two together starting with the first one. So the first one and the second stitch come together. And then it says to um, single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. So we're just going to work our way across. So one and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So you'll see that you're running out of stitches pretty uh, quickly. So it says uh, single crochet um, two together over the last two stitches, which is, there's only two. So the next two are together. And that concludes off row number 15. So you can see we're getting more and more narrower as we're going along. So let's begin. We're going to turn our work again. Row number 16, chain one. And it says to single crochet two together. So the first two are together. And this time we're running uh, shorter on stitches. So that means it's less. So it's, it, we're going to single crochet over nine stitches. So let's go from one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're left with two stitches on board. So that means those two are together as per the instruction. And let's move on to the next line. 
Okay, rows number 17 to 25 are very easy. We just turn our work. We're just gonna simply just go back and forth. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but just chain one and single crochet ourselves across. Turn your work, single crochet, uh, chain one, single crochet your way across. Please do this for uh, rows number 17 all the way to 25. And when we come back, I'll have that done and we'll keep moving down this pattern. So here we have my ghost and you'll notice that the tail comes off on one side. One side we're going to be decreasing and the other side we're going to be increasing to create that look. So I've just finished off row number 25. I'm ready to turn and go to row number 26 and we're going to start now forming that tail area. As long as you know what, what you're doing now, it's going to be very easy. So let's begin to do that next. To begin row number 26, just chain one and then the first two are together. So single crochet, two together. Okay, and we're going to single crochet ourselves for the remainder of the row. Okay, so we're starting to come on one side, we're starting to pull in. And on this side, we're just going along as normal. So make sure that you go right to the end. And that completes off row number 26. Row number 27, we're going to turn our work and we simply are going to do it really easily with chain one and it says single crochet into each of the stitches and on the very last one we're going to do two together. Okay, so we're going to go in. So the last two stitches on this row are going to go together. So you can either count it, you don't see me counting it because I'm just going to look for it. So if I know that's the last two stitches then it becomes really easy. So I now have two stitches left. That means those are the ones that will be two together. And that will complete off row number 27. Row number 28 is starting off the same way as we have been before. Chain one and then the next two are, the first two are together. And what you need to do is just single crochet yourself across the line and then on the final stitch we're going to put two single crochets into the same stitch. So now we're going to start growing the tail out um, toward the side. So we've been decreasing on this side bringing the, the tail around but now we're starting to grow the tail going in the other direction. So the final stitch will be two single crochets into the same one. And that will complete off uh, row number 28. Let's turn our work and we're going to start off row number 29. It says chain one and it says two single crochets into the first one. So coming straight down so it's going to allow it to continue to grow sideways like this and we're going to go to our single crochet across and then on the final two stitches and you got to really watch for this now, you got to really know where your edging is. So I have one more stitch to go. You can either count it or you can look for it. So I have one and two and these two are together like that. So that completes off row number 29. Let's turn our work and go for row number 30. We're going to chain one and you can see how we're coming in like this. So in order to continue that, the first two have to be together. So two single crochets together. We're going to single crochet ourselves across and then on the final stitch we're going to put two single crochets into the same hole to uh, continue to grow the tail out to the side. I'm just going to adjust my material so it's out of the way. Okay, making sure we get right to the final. So here is the final one right here and we're going to put in two single crochets at that point. And that completes off row number 30. Okay, this is your final row for the ghost body itself. We're just going to turn our work and chain one and we're going to put in again two single crochets into the very beginning. So we're still growing the tail out sideways. So see how it's growing out. And then we're going to put in um, single crochets into each except for the last two they are going to go together. So you can either count it or just look for it. It's easier if you can identify your stitches so that you can avoid yourself counting so you can enjoy the project even better. And we have two stitches left. Those two are together. This completes off the body but do not cast off at this time. Do not fasten off and you can see at this point this is what we have going on. So we have the body of this as well as the tail and this is where we are at the bottom. Okay, we're moving up to the edging part and you've got to turn your work as if you're going to start another row. You chain one and then each stitch is going to get one uh, single crochet into each. We are now doing the trim work going all the way around. Could also do the trim work in black if you really wanted to as well. 
and maybe that would be kind of cool too. So when you get to any point, any like the, the arms or the top of the head or even the tip here, the final one on the outside is always going to have three single crochets going around it. So in the same stitch so that it can make the bend of the material. Now because you've been doing single crochet, you just trace the remainder around. So you just go in immediately into the next area. You can actually clearly see it just sticking it in evenly spaced and just going all the way around. So I'm going to stop here because I want to really do, I want to really trace this thing in black instead of doing white. I have a future plan for it. So when I come back you'll see that the outside is black instead of white and that's just a personal choice. So I've come all the way back around and as promised I told you I'd have black on here. I think it looks pretty cool. And we're just going to slip stitch just to form the final edge. And then we're just going to trim it and we just want to pull our yarn. So what I want you to do at this point, use your darning needle to just pull through and use your darning needle to hide this loose end. This is going to be out in public in the dining room or, or living room. You're going to want it to have a nice finish. So just insert your hook or your uh, needle in and then just ride the stitches underneath in three different directions. So we're going to go direction one, pull through and we're going to go back into the same direction for two and then going into a different area like very close to it just to hide the, into the fibers and just pull th and push through. Okay, so now this is completely sealed in so you can safely cut this now and you'll never have to worry about it ever falling out probably within a lifetime. So this is what we have at this point. We have the hands. We have our ghosty ghosty going on. Just needs a little bit of adjusting. So now when we come back I'm going to show you how to do the embroidery um, stitch and this is called the French knot and it's actually really cool and it's very easy to do. So whatever you prefer, if you prefer the black, in my case I like it and you can just decide whether you like front or back. I'm going to turn it so that both these ghosts when I use them are going to be kind of interlined, twined with each other. So let's begin to do a French knot. I just learned how to do this. I'm going to, for one side I'm going to create a slip knot and I have a purpose for that. So what I want to do on the other side I want to insert my darning needle. And your darning needle you're going to want it to be a little bit sharp so that it can work in between the fibers of your project. Okay, so I never knew how to do a French knot until this tutorial. So what I want to do is I want to look at it and you can just look at the picture to verify where you want the eyes to be and I kind of looked at it already so I went one and two. So I'm going to look for the same spot. So I'm going to go right about there and I want to come in from the back. So I determined this is going to be my back coming through and just kind of poke through the fibers like that. And I want to pull all the way through but I do not, uh, sorry, not all the way through. I just want to get it so that the slip knot is just there. So when I come back on the other side I'm going to put it through there. So to do a French knot all you just need to do is stick the hook toward your hand or the needle, <laughs> needle point toward your hand. I'm so used to crochet. Okay, so just toward your hand. Okay, so this is coming out here. Put this. And what you want to just do is that you want to grab around from the bottom and wrap twice. Okay, so now what you're going to do then is turn it upside down. Okay. So with the thread then coming out, then here is your needle and all you just need to do is you need to wrap this thread around this needle or vice versa however you want to do it. So you have to do it twice. So I'm going to come up from the underside just wrap and wrap. Okay. Twice like that. And I simply just want to go back into a different area but very, very close so that it goes into areas. And all this stuff that's wrapped around this needle will literally wrap around and form a circular knot on the surface. So I'm just kind of pulling through. Now on the other side when you come through just go through that loop that's on the back and that will complete the circuit of your, of your project. So now you just have to tighten up. Okay, so there is eye number one. So now all I just want to do is that I want to come over to a second area where you want the second eye. Unless you have a one-eyed ghost of course. Okay, so coming over to the second, pull through. Okay, so pull it all the way through. You don't have to worry about that slip knot anymore. Pull it out and wrap. 
Okay, so you see that there's three loops on there and we come in to and go in to the work at a different hole or a different fiber area so it can go in. And there is eye number two. So let's do the mouth and the mouth is a bit bigger. So now I'm just going to stick the hook or the needle coming out from about the mouth area. Just you can eye it out a bit if you wish. If you want to come a little lower, just play with the creativity a bit. Come in. Now the mouth is going to be bigger so I want the knot to be bigger. So this time I'm going to wrap it six times. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so do you see how it kind of wrapped it what appears to be seven so that when it does go in it will maintain its six. So now I just want to come into a different area that's really close. If you go into the exact same hole you're going to pull the work right out and then just pull down through like that. Okay, so this one will be slightly bigger. Pull it nice and snug and it will sit down and now I have a bigger ghosty ghost paste and then the back what I just want to do then is that I just want to hide the fibers so I just want to run the needle through a few fibers that will not poke out of the front of the head and I want to do that with a total of three times. Three is the magic number for not allowing your work to secretly come out. If you go in one direction it will fall out. If you go in two possibility three it's impossible. So I'm going to now trim my work at this point. The back nice and tight in. I can trim the first stitch knot out. The back kind of looks sinful but here is what the front looks like at this point and now I have a good ghoster coaster and no matter which one you do whether you want a solid white or with black trim either way it's good to go. Well, on, behalf on behalf of Red Heart as well as the Crochet Crowd, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoy your new Ghost Coasters. Compliments at redheart.com. Till next time, we'll see ya. Bye bye.